here's another little baby. We don't know the name of the baby. We don't know the face. We don't know much about the baby. This is a baby that was killed by a Muslim terrorist in Nice, France, when that terrorist drove a massive truck down the promenade, murdering more than 80, wounding nearly 500. We don't know this kid's name. Her image will not be politicized or weaponized. Unlike Yanela Hernandez, two-year-old girl, her picture has been everywhere, front page of the New York Times, front page of countless papers, especially those on the left here, the New York Daily News calls Trump an animal for abusing this little girl. Half a million people on Facebook crowdfunded a campaign to fight against this racism. They've raised almost 20 million bucks so far. That evil Donald Trump. I mean, who is so evil that he separates a crying child from her own parents? Well, not Trump, actually, and not Trump's police. The girl was in fact never separated from her mom, and the story is almost as weird as Aylan Curdy's dad going for free dental work in Germany. Here's the first fact, a statement by ICE that stands for Immigration and Customs Enforcement Police. This is a note that they sent to journalists yesterday. On June 12, 2018, Sandra Maria Sanchez, 32, a previously deported woman from Honduras, illegally re-entered the United States. She was arrested by agents with U.S. Customs and Border Protection's Border Patrol near Hidalgo, Texas, while traveling with a family member. On June 17, 2018, Sanchez was transferred to ICE custody and is currently housed at the South Texas Family Residential Center in Dilly, Texas. Her immigration proceedings are ongoing. But look at this. On July 3, 2013, Sanchez was encountered by immigration officials in Hebronville, Texas. On July 9, 2013, she was transferred to ICE ERO custody. On July 18, 2013, Sanchez was removed to Honduras under expedited removal. Oh, so she hasn't been separated from her daughter. They're together in a family facility after all. And not just that, the mom, Sandra Maria Sanchez, She's illegally entering America for a second time, having been caught and deported five years ago by Barack Obama. But the story gets weirder, dental trip type weird, even weirder than that. The father of this two-year-old Honduran girl, he's got something to say about this. He was interviewed at length by the Daily Mail, a UK-based newspaper. He says Sandra Sanchez, his wife, the girl's mother, basically kidnapped her. He says he disagreed with her decision to try to sneak into the U.S. illegally. Again, he disagreed with her taking their daughter on such a dangerous trip. He disagreed with her paying $6,000 to a human trafficker called a coyote, surely a gang member. Remember that up to 60% of women and children smuggled across the border are sexually assaulted, including by their human traffickers. And the evil Donald Trump? Yeah, no, he saved them. Here's the father in that exclusive interview with Daily Mail. Hernandez, who lives in Puerto Cortes, Honduras, says that he was told yesterday that his wife and child are being detained at a family residential center in Texas, but are together and doing fine. You can imagine how I felt when I saw that photo of my daughter. It broke my heart. It's difficult as a father to see that, but I know now they are not in danger. They are safer now than when they were making that journey to the border, he said. Let me read some more. I'm not sure if this is mother of the year material here. Dennis, that's the dad, said that his wife had previously mentioned her wish to go to the United States for a better future, but did not tell him or any of their family members that she was planning to make the trek. I didn't support it. I asked her why. Why would she want to put our little girl through that? But it was her decision at the end of the day. And this, I don't have any resentment for my wife, but I do think it was irresponsible of her to take the baby with her in her arms because we don't know what could happen. The couple has three other children, son Wesley, 14, daughter Cindy, 11, and Brianna, 6. So we have a mom who basically walked away from her family, her husband, who has a respectable job, and her three other kids. She wants to be a big star in America, and she literally took a two-year-old through a coyote smuggler to break the law and sneak into America again after Barack Obama deported her. And she was captured and is in a family facility now. Every single thing about the story that was reported in Time magazine and in the New York Times and on Canada's CBC, every single thing they said about it was fake news.
That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.